Hey, once again, everybody, it's Thursday evening, and it's weather for weather geeks time. Boy, it was steamy out there today. I was on the golf course all morning into early this afternoon. It was a hot one. Uh, the dew points, you know, I thought they would kind of mix down a little bit today. In other words, it would get kind of muggy for a while, but then some drier air from aloft would kind of mix down. But we had enough cloudiness that the atmosphere wasn't super well mixed as it is sometimes when you have a crystal clear day, kind of like we had yesterday's so all that by way of saying yeah it got pretty muggy out there this afternoon as dew points instead of kind of retreating to the upper 50s actually kept on rising into the mid 60s this afternoon and uh, you know just a reminder again i've been talking about dew points quite a bit this week and we'll talk about dew points quite a bit over the next few months but yeah just a, a quick reminder in our part of the country you know most people consider mid 60s dew points to be pretty humid very very comfortable mid 60s dew points if you live in miami or somewhere somewhere like that but uh, not so much around here the uh, temperature today spiked into the lower 80s as expected we had a forecast of 82 it reached 83 this afternoon about five above the average also five above the average for this morning's low the uh, records on today's date 94 and 42 now for the month precipitation wise because we've had a little bit more dry weather at times over the last several days that so we're actually not far from our average after being well above the average for a time earlier in June. All right, a little bit of a zoomed in view of the regional dew points this evening. And the reason why I'm showing kind of this view is that we have a dew point boundary off to our north, northeast winds funneling drier air down over Lake Erie. And you'll notice the dew points up in oh Geneva and over towards uh, Ashtabula and even over towards Cleveland are well down into the 50s, while the muggy air is certainly in place off to the south. Now, with this boundary nearby, we've been watching the radar over the last few hours for hints of any stray shower activity. We threw in a small chance for a shower into our forecast for today last night. Uh, and, you know, we were kind of pinpointing late afternoon, early evening. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Nothing's really popping on the uh, radar as we speak. So looks like we're going to be dry for the lion's share of the evening and certainly overnight tonight. Quick uh, zoomed out view of the U.S. and one severe thunderstorm watches out for parts of South Dakota, uh, Nebraska, and down into extreme southeastern Wyoming and northern Colorado. Other than that, though, you know, for a June evening, this is a pretty quiet weather map. A scattering of showers and storms in the deep south, but nothing real severe down there all right our weather over the next few days um you know none of these days will be great weather wise that is for sure but none of these days will be a total rain out um i would not you know cancel a lot of outdoor plans per se just depending on wh when those plans are i think the best chance for a a shower or storm uh, friday will be after about two or three in the afternoon but even as early as midday there could be a stray shower around best chance for a shower rumble of thunder Again, mid-afternoon on. I don't think severe weather is any real threat on Friday. Uh, showers will continue to come and go then into Friday night. It's not going to rain the entire time Friday night, but showers will come and go. Now, the wettest part of Saturday, starting to focus more on the morning hours. Not to say the afternoon would be completely dry, because I don't think it will be necessarily, but the most consistent rain probably is going to be in the morning on Saturday with this front kind of still s straddling the area. It'll be a focusing mechanism for uh, showers to pop up, outside chance of thunder, but I don't think there's much thunder on Saturday. Now on Sunday, the opposite's probably true. Most of the morning, probably, you know, a minimal amount of showers, could be a, a passing shower or two. It's the afternoon that I think we have a, a better chance of, of some showers and some thunderstorms. I still think the best chance is probably in areas south and east of Youngstown. Uh, that's splitting hairs a little bit. If you live north and west of Youngstown, I think there's still a chance of at least one or two showers and perhaps a thunderstorm Sunday afternoon. But much like Saturday, it's not going to rain all day Sunday. It's just uh, things maybe weighted a little bit more towards the afternoon, especially when we get some sunny breaks on the east side of this low pressure system. The atmosphere may destabilize enough to, you know, uh, produce more numerous raindrops during the uh, second half of the day. So rainfall expectations for the next 72 hours. This would capture most of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's expected rainfall and you know a lot of ohio western pa you know rainfall amounts are going to exceed a half an inch almost everywhere with the exception perhaps of far northern ohio especially northwest ohio uh, parts of southwest ohio could see an inch and a half or more worth of rain on average and could someone in our viewing area get more than an inch worth of rain if you get a hefty tropical downpour in your location sure but as a region-wide average our rainfall expectations for the next 72 hours, probably on the order of a half an inch to three quarters of an inch or so. So the flash flooding risk is not much of a concern for our Friday locally. It is a low end concern on Saturday. I, I, you know, I, I think it is a low end concern. I'm not real worried about 
a lot of you know neighborhood flooding issues on Saturday, but could area creeks try to run a little bit high if you get a quick downpour over some locations? Sure, um, but again, I I don't think uh, the uh, ingredients are there per se for any sort of widespread flooding issues Saturday into Sunday as well. That being said, uh, it'll stay muggy this weekend. Temperatures will not be quite as warm as the end of the work week, so we're looking for 76 on Saturday, 79 on Sunday. Once we get past the weekend, pretty standard summer stuff for a lot of next week. And what we mean by that is we don't have a lot of big weather features coming our way. Might be one midweek week, you know, kind of front. Um, not a lot to point to in terms of, you know, big weather features that you can hang your hat on and say this is why it's going to rain today. Just a lot of warm, humid air with subtle atmospheric features trying to make the atmosphere unstable enough to pop some showers and storms. Best chance will be in the afternoon hours for a lot of these days next week. So it, this pattern more resembles July rather than, than June, but pretty steamy stuff, I think, as we head into next week. So air conditioners will be certainly busier than they have been so far this early summer season. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Thursday evening. Make it a great rest of your night. We'll update that weekend forecast and much more on Friday evening.